Now let's take a look at some movies. The South African film, The Endless River, made history earlier this week when it premiered at the Venice Film Festival. It is the first film from the country to be selected to compete for the top prize, and that prize is called The Golden Lion at the festival. Take a look. I suppose everyone at the bar is talking about that. Director Olifir Hermanis's The Endless River premiered at the 72nd Venice Film Festival. The movie is the first South African entry to screen in competition at the world's oldest film festival. Speaking to Reuters ahead of the film's world premiere, Hermanis, whose 2011 film Beauty was selected as South Africa's entry for the Best Foreign Language Film at the Academy Awards, said he hoped the film's inclusion in the lineup would send a positive signal to other South African filmmakers. For me personally, of course, it's, it's a great uh, sense of achievement and I'm very proud to represent South Africa here for the first time. Um, yeah. It's also a lot of pressure. Uh, South Africa today, uh, people will be checking for the reviews and for the response. And um, I'm, But I'm trying to take it easy. I'm not trying to uh, think about it too much. Uh, I think that hopefully we'll have a lot more films coming to Venice. Uh, I think there's a new age in South African cinema starting and I'm glad to be a part of it. The story of the film comes from the name of the town Rafir Sonarent, or Endless River. Hermanus said he had driven through the town all his life, but never paid much attention to it until he one day stopped to look around. The town is still very much divided between races and therefore similar to the South African past, Hermanus said, thinking that the name would lend to a good story. The director said he decided to tell a crime drama set in the town. In the movie, the husband of a young waitress, Tiny, played by Crystal Donald Roberts, returns home in Rafir Sonarent after a four-year jail sentence and the two seek to return to normalcy. But things are further complicated when the family of a foreigner, Giles, living on a farm nearby, is killed and he befriends Tiny. The two, surrounded by violence and crime, form an unlikely companionship to alleviate their pain and loneliness. To be honest, there's been a lot of violence in all of my movies, and I think it's it's a clear fact that you know violence is part of the subconscious of South African creative people. We live in a very violent country. Uh, we have a very violent past. Uh, we have very heinous domestic violence. We have very heinous um, unforced violence, inexplicable um, disregard for human life, uh, and I think it's a very scary thing for a lot of South Africans. And I have to put it in my work to try and understand it, to try and. Um, and uh, yeah, communicate it to other people in terms of why we're still so angry with each other in South Africa. Roberts described the film as accurate. What happens in the film is actually happening in our country and I think that it's a great way of pinpointing it, of um, just sort of making people aware of what is happening there but without being too preachy about it, you know, where you don't make a film specifically about farm murders but you use that as a basis for what starts sort of everything. French actor Nicolas Divacelli, who portrays Giles, said he had been approached by Hermanus to take on the role. He said he had been touched by the screenplay and decided right away to take on the tough role. Yeah, and it was a tough movie even for the emo emotionally. And so we decided with uh, the director that I had to go in South Africa three weeks before we start shooting. So I was all alone there in Cape Town, all alone with nobody. So it was like the character, you know, that um, he, he's on his own there with his family murdered. He tried to know who did this and he tried to overcome. And it was like uh, what, what I was living in, in South Africa was the character. So it was, uh, it was good for me to, to spend time here on my own, all alone, with nobody, to be uh, the character. The Endless River is one of 21 films competing for the coveted Golden Lion Award at the Venice Film Festival, which runs through Saturday, the 12th of September. All right, we wish them the best of luck with that one. Now, let's throw forward to what's happening here on the SABC. and. Uh,